So we may not have a OnePlus 9T to look forward to at the end of 2021, but that doesn't mean that OnePlus has just been sat around on its arse doing out. Because what we're getting instead is the OnePlus Nord 2 Special Pac-Man Edition. This bad boy will cost you 499 quid or 529 euros. You can pre-order yours right now from the OnePlus website. And OnePlus has really gone to town with this thing, changing up the design of it, uh, the theme and all sorts. So let's whip the OnePlus Nord 2 Pac-Man Edition on out of the box, take you on a full-on tour of all the changes and little tweaks and bonus features that you'll find packed in there and for more on the latest and greatest tech please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell cheers first up i've got to give a shout out to the box design which is remarkably restrained as you can see there's just a little bit of brand in there pac-man and then the oneplus down below and then uh, lots of little pills basically scattered all about the place tiny dinky little pac-man up there in the corner munching on him looks rather nice i was expecting them to just slather the big yellow fat bastard all over this thing let's just ease it open Okay, <laughs> this is a bit more what I was expecting. Very, very bright and vibrant. And that wasn't actually the real box. This is apparently the real box. Okay, but box number two, surprise box. Still liking that restrained design. Again, a little bit of the old Pac-Man Brandon. Really liking the maze motif that stretches all around this thing. And you actually managed to sneak one plus Nord into that maze. A cheeky little bit of ghost action as well. Blinky or wanky or whatever he's called. And let's see, is there another box within this box? Nope, we're into the phone proper now. It really is impossible to get this entire box into bloody frame. So what are you actually getting here besides the OnePlus Nord 2 Pac-Man edition? Well, you've got OnePlus's Warp Charge 65 power adapter. And when I say power adapter, I mean absolute unit. You've got the usual uh, bright red OnePlus USB cable, which I honestly thought would be yellow in this edition. You've got your OnePlus Nord stickers. And we do have a bit of yellow action going on here, but still no Pac-Man. And then last up, the usual welcome letter from the team who worked on the device. And it's good to see Jason the dog back in action. And if you want to know what the welcome letter says, it says these words precisely. And that's everything you get inside the OnePlus Nord 2 Pac-Man edition box. Let's stop piddling about and check out the fun. Now first up, I am liking the design of the OnePlus Nord 2 Pac-Man edition. Gotta say, I had images of just big, bright, smiley, yellow faces all over this thing. But again, it's looking fairly restrained. The first glance is basically a silver finish. You got your, your Pac-Man here, merrily munching away on uh, all kinds of various pills. Got the name of the smartphone just subtly tucked away next to the camera chassis right there. The teeny bit of the OnePlus branding down below with that logo. Apart from that, looking and feeling very similar to the standard OnePlus Nord 2 that released earlier this year. However, if we just go ahead and just turn off all of the lights, this is actually a glow-in-the-dark smartphone. You've got a shiny fluorescent back there constructed of two layers with phosphorescent ink applied directly to the innermost layer in a sort of maze motif again, just like on that second box. Pointless, yes, but snazzy, most definitely. I'd say it looks amazing, but then I'd have to go and f***ing kill myself. As for the rest of the design, I believe that the back end of the OnePlus Nord 2 Pac-Man Edition is still constructed from a Gorilla Glass 5, as well as the display. You do have a pre-installed screen protector on there too. And of course, the OnePlus Nord 2 doesn't have an IP rating, but it is splash-proof, so no worries if it does get a little bit moist. And it's good to see when the OnePlus Nord 2 Pac-Man Edition is booting up, you do get a funky little animation. Nice touch. Now, while the OnePlus Nord 2 Pac-Man Edition is busy setting itself up, let's have a bit of a go at constructing the OnePlus Nord 2 Pac-Man phone holder. Every time. Ah. Okay, so as you can see, it's a bit of a Lego special. So uh, I'm, I'm a bit rusty on the old Lego building, but the, the instruction manual is literally only 14 steps long. So I think I could probably just about manage that. Step one is literally make sure you've got this big blue wanger here. Already on to step two. Feeling pretty confident. I reckon I could do this even if I had a couple more whiskeys. Why do you hate me? And there we have it. The finished OnePlus Nord 2 Pac-Man Edition phone holder. Absolute piece of piss. Quite a funky design as you can see you got uh, Pac-Man looking as cheery as ever down there at the bottom thinking about all those delicious pills he's about to shove down his throat and then you got a staircase uh, winding its way up the exterior of the phone holder there with uh, the old uh, ghosts of course just knocking about having, having a good time. So anyway the OnePlus Nord 2 Pac-Man edition is all set up ready for action and once again it's a good bit of Oxygen OS 11.3 slathered on top of Android 11. However, straight off the bat, you'll probably notice a good bit of Pac-Man theming uh, tucked away in there, starting, of course, with the rather obvious wallpapers there. You've got the usual OnePlus papers and the likes of the canvas mode, of course, but then the uh, rather eclectic selection of Pac-Man efforts, going from the very jazzy and in-your-face to the, uh, the bit more subtle. And that is far from all. I also love how when you drag down that notifications bar, it actually mirrors the arcade-style design, very blue and yellow. So retro fiends will definitely get a bit of a kick out of that. And while the default icon pack here on the Nord 2 Pac-Man edition is 
is the standard oxygen icons. You can swap to a special Pac-Man one as well. And as you can see there, this gives the system apps a retro 8-bit style vibe, which is very, very cool indeed. I see it very, very cool. It obviously depends on how much you dig the retro vibe. You've got a Pac-Man themed lock screen as well. And even the ruddy fingerprint sensor is basically Pac-Man stuck inside of his little maze. I mean, fair play to OnePlus, they've really gone to town with the bonus software bits here. And yes, you've also got a special custom Pac-Man alarm and Pac-Man ringtone as well. Well, that would definitely get me up in the morning, that's for sure. And the ringtone. Like it. And quite a lot of these little uh, bonus bits aren't actually active by default. You will have to go digging through the settings menu looking for them. And when you actually first boot up the OnePlus Nord 2 Pac-Man Edition, you do get a little message saying that there are some really secret hidden bits uh, tucked away in there that you will have to go rooting around for. Very cute indeed. And you do get some clues here in the phone stand instruction manual on how to unlock some of these bonus bits as well. So I'm going to try and employ my massive intellectual genius in order to actually uh, find some of these bits right now. If you don't want to spoil the surprises because you're going to get the phone yourself you might want to skip ahead to the next section oh you know don't because chances are i ain't gonna find diddly dick because let's face it i'm a few whiskeys in now and the old brain box in what it used to be because the first clue is if our little puzzle has got you out fox don't be sad just read the blocks which i'm assuming refers to the old go for perfect here on the phone holder which i'm not really sure what that means you do get the pac-man 256 game installed here on the uh, the pac-man edition uh, but surely it can't expect you to get a perfect score. That would be a bit much. I definitely ain't one of these guys who gets the, uh, the old platinum trophies, usually. You'll be glad to hear that Pac-Man 256 plays perfectly here on the OnePlus Nord 2, unsurprisingly. Oh, what's happening now? Am I dead? Oh, already? Oh, a high score of 73. I don't think that's quite perfect. Okay, scratch that. If you failed a lot, yep, and you're reaching your limits, look for a number around seven digits. Okay, absolutely scoured this thing, looking for a seven-digit number. Uh, there's absolutely nothing that <laughs> I can see anywhere that could, could count. I can't see anything hidden away in the wallpapers or anywhere. Seriously, what, what, am I, what am I missing here? Anyone? Anyone got any clues? Hang on, maybe it's the seven numbers that you would have to punch into an old feature phone in order to spell out perfect. And when you find the number, enter it into the calculator and tap equals. All right, so that'll be seven, three, and finally eight. Nope, that ain't it. Oh. Okay, so I completely freaking give up. If you guys have got any ideas, let me know down in the comments. Uh, otherwise, yeah. Besides the uh, obvious Pac-Man theming, it's basically the same OnePlus Nord 2 that we know and love. Uh, with that Dimensity 1200 chipset power in it, you've got 12 gigs of RAM, and this is, only comes with 256 gigs of onboard storage, so plenty of space there for all your shiz. Just as well as there's no micro SD support. You've got a 6.43 inch AMOLED screen, which I really, really like. Full HD plus resolutions, nice crisp, punchy visuals in there. Tops off at 90 hertz, nice strong brightness for outdoors use as well, nice wide viewing angles and everything. And a stereo speaker setup that's pretty respectable for this sort of price point, along with uh, Bluetooth 5.2 support, you've got a good bit of LDAC and Aptex HD and all of the usual codec shenanigans. The performance once again comes courtesy of a Dimensity 1200 chipset as mentioned before. The battery life is solid on the OnePlus Nord 2. I've done a full in-depth review of the original smartphone, so go check that out for all you need to know about the specs, the features, and what I thought of using it as my full-time smartphone for a week. Likewise, that camera tech hasn't changed up at all for the Pac-Man edition. Once again, a 50 megapixel primary shooter using Sony's IMX766 sensor with optical image stabilization. That is backed by a simple 8 megapixel ultra wide angle shooter and a 2 megapixel mono lens. The only actual difference I've noticed is if you dive on into that camera app and then go to the filters, you do now have a special Pac-Man filter, which as you can see there just adds all kinds of random ghosts and Pac-Man randomness to your photo. And once again, a 32 megapixel selfie shooter as well, which is perfectly respectable for your better Insta action. So that right there is the OnePlus Nord 2 Pac-Man edition. Definitely a good one for any retro gaming fans out there. They've really gone to town with the theming and everything. But besides that, it's still the uh, same old OnePlus Nord 2 that I know and really, really like indeed uh, so definitely as i say go check out my full node 2 review for my in-depth thoughts on the phone itself you guys are clearly a lot smaller than i am so uh yeah if you've got any idea what any of these secret bonus bits are please let me know down below and i'll try and maybe do a video part two at some point in the meantime please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell if you haven't already and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week cheers everyone love you